Metaverse.com presents 1 to 48 ARX 7 Arbalist. Greetings everyone, this is Scar from Metaverse.co bringing you the review of the 1 to 48 Oshima ARX 7 Arbalist from the Full Metal Panic series. This is my first kit from Oshima, and uh, since I'm a big fan of the Full Metal Panic series, I figure I should try it. Uh, this is number 4 on its line. I believe the other 3 were the 3 version uh, of the M9. Uh, looking around the box we can see some nice shots of the Arbalest and uh, a preview of uh, what will be the model kit itself. Not a lot of poses here. It's a more of a show off of the accessories. Here we have um, the Lambda Driver features and the dagger and the shotgun. Here are some data about the arm slave. And um, this side of the box uh, makes me want I could read Japanese, but I can't. As you can see, the box isn't so big. It's uh, in the middle of a master grade and uh, high grade. But it's a lot wider than a high grade is and I believe it's even wider than the Master Grade Destiny one. Once the box is opened up we can see yeah quite a lot of pieces there. Quite a lot. There are also a lot of polycaps that I wasn't expecting. Uh, but I get to that in a moment. Uh, and the extraction manual was the one that uh, surprised me because yeah, it's the same kind of manual that comes with the Bandai high grade. Yeah, it's a single sheet of paper. Extremely long. Extremely long. And now that I unfolded it, I'm not sure I can even fold it back. Let's start with the B plates. B plates are actually two. And this one goes from number one to number 43. Whether this one goes from number 44 to number 59. Um, they were somehow meant to be the same plate, I guess. But Oshima decided they wanted to make the box wider instead of taller, and so they divided it. Pieces you can find here are most of the inner frame. I can see here the knee joints and I guess this might be the elbow joint. And this is uh, for sure the lower torso and uh, most of the pieces you need for the hands and the leg attachment point. Let's continue with the R plates. The R plates contains uh, a lot of white pieces. Most of the white pieces you need for the kit, I guess. It's most of the external armor for the arm sleeve. Here we have some leg armor, and there we have uh, the back torso armor, elbow armor, and head armor, and um, other pieces. Going along with white pieces, uh, we have the C plates, which are actually the same mold where we can find the... I believe this is the foot armor these are some other leg armor and this is the knee armor and I believe these are the side scare somehow similar to the Gundam um, I don't know if uh, we're gonna actually use all these pieces or, or um, if there are some that are gonna be left behind like Katabukiya kids hmm, we'll see Moving on to D plates, we have three D plates in different colors. I still don't see the point in doing this, but maybe I'm a bit to use the Bandai kits. I don't know if other company does this. To finish up with the white plates, we have uh, this one that contains uh, some of the chest section of the herbalist, the boobs of the herbalist. Then we have the hand covers and some other pieces. And then, uh, yeah. I'm a bit surprised because you can see there is a lot of free space. I don't really see the point in doing this because first you make this plate that you have to split into because they don't fit the, the box and then you do this with all this empty space. I don't really see the point in doing this. Maybe they were pieces for the M9 only but I'm not so sure about that because this is actually the 
I believe it's the mouth section of the M9 and here on another D plate we have uh, these two that uh, at the first look might seem the feet of the Arbalis but you can see they are actually a bit bent and I believe they are the the shield pieces for the M9 shoulder so I don't really see the point uh, in all this empty space moving on to blue plates we have uh, these two that are um, the most of the blue that is on this kit you can see here these two that I suppose are gonna be left behind and these that I can't really figure out what they are about maybe they are on the knee section or something I don't know then we have uh, some uh, other blue pieces these are for the legs under the foot and um, yeah other pieces I think I'm a bit disappointed is I don't know if you can see it very well but there is actually a little bit of extra plastic there uh, as I told you before I got used the Bandai kits top quality and I'm uh, always a bit disappointed when I see things like that well, whatever, we'll see. Not a big deal. Then we have the A plates. This is dark grey, this is dark blue. This looks a lot like the knee joint I told you before, but I'm not sure anymore because some might be for the chest. And uh, I don't know, I should look on the instruction manual. However, these are other two hands. I wonder if hand covers are gonna be enough. On the blue A plate, we're gonna have uh, other foot parts. Why? Why are there so many? Is this a spider or something? Uh, I don't know. However, this is gonna be the head armor, which really looks sharp and nice. I really love this part. And then we have the end plates, which are really in different color. This is a light, light gray, and this is a light blue. This in light grey, I can see there is the little knife the Arbalest puts in its mouth. But what is this? I don't really have any idea. I suppose I'm gonna see it. The other end plate contains uh, some detail on this light blue which really looks nice. It's um, almost... it's... Uh, purplish blue yeah it's not really 100% blue and it really looks nice I love this color moving on to weapons we have the E plate which contains the shotgun this little dagger which really looks nice and it's actually quite pointy and this little knife that it's the one that is going to be stored in the chest like that you see that you see there are two versions of that the opened up version ready for usage and this folded up version ready for storage then we have the Q plates this one is made of clear green plastic and these are all the effect parts you're gonna need for the lambda driver activation on the arm slave and even though they should be solid plastic instead of clear I think they look a lot better like that because as you've seen it's a mostly white and blue kit and a little bit of green like that would help uh, its visual appeal would help um, the overall look of the kit will make this thing stand out and this is the eye section it's all green with molded in eyes and this is a black seal to cover all the green around the eyes and leave only the eyes uncovered I might just paint it myself instead of using the sticker well, then we have the other Q plates that goes along with G plates why do I do this together? because they are all polycaps yes in this kit you get three plates of polycap and it's a lot of polycap and if that wasn't enough they give you four of these little things each one of these has other 19 little polycaps attached to it. It's a lot of polycap. Are we gonna use them all? I don't know. We're gonna see. Last but not least, 
we have the unfolded and unfoldable instruction manual. On this side, all you get to see are instructions. Whether on the other side, there are the final instruction about the back skirt, the shotgun, the dagger, the little pointy things that might be rather jammer or something, how to store the knives on the chest, and then how to build the hands. Hands are quite interesting because I've never seen before on a Bandai kit. Fingers are going to be put together two by two. Strange but interesting. Will it work better? We're gonna see. Then we have uh, some shot of the Arbalest painted by a pro. So that was the unbox video for the 148 scale ARX7 Arbalest from Oshima. I personally think this is going to be an interesting build because I have still so many questions about this model kit that can be answered only by building it that I can't wait to put this thing together. Anyway everybody this was Scar from Metaverse.co. Stay tuned for the next part where I'm going to go over the parts and the AS itself. See you next time. Bye.